Law Warrior Aerotech, TR-10 Transit. Overview. The TR-10 Transit is widely used as the command aircraft for dropships in many Lao air lances. It is also part of almost every defensive garrison within the Capellan Confederation. With its adequate armour and extensive weaponry, the medium fighter serves extensively as a close support battle mech buster in major engagements. When the transit appears above the battlefield, its distinctive silhouette creates great apprehension among the ranks of enemy mech warriors. Capabilities While not much faster than House Lao's heavy fighter, the Transgressor, the Transit is one of the more potent medium aerospace fighters of the successor state because of its armour placement and durability. Powered by the Rawlings 200 fusion engine, it's able to generate all the energy that its four Kajuka Type II Bright Blossom medium lasers need, although normally they are fired simultaneously. The nose-mounted Tomodzuru Type 20 autocannon is especially effective against dropship or battle mech targets, but its heat build-up potential can be troublesome. Though its armour is not the strongest of any medium aerospace fighter of the successor states, the Transit's proven sufficient during most extra-atmospheric firefights. Its staying power against comparable fighters has been exemplary. When set upon by heavier fighter types, however, it isn't especially effective. One complaint many fighter pilots make about the Transit is that it offers a far larger target than other medium fighters. Many pilots feel that the designers would have done better to create a more compact design rather than trying for innovation. The designers, of course, argue that the large wing surfaces and control points of the Transit make it one of the more airworthy spacecraft of the successor states. It's remarkably easy to fly, and uncontrolled manoeuvres are very rare. The pilots scoff at this, however, and according to them, control isn't as important as if the Transit were equipped with a larger engine to make it faster and more agile. Battle History During a diversionary raid on New Bern in 3012, Anson's Air Lance of the 5th Regiment McCarran's Armoured Cavalry was ordered to maintain the rear guard as the last dropships lifted off. Captain Anson and his five pilots in their transit began a series of passes at the approaching Davian mech units, peppering them with fire from their Tomodzuru Type 20s and Kajuka Type 2 medium lasers. The Davians were forced to keep their heads down until the transits ran out of autocannon ammunition, then they passed on toward the drop zone. Captain Anson decided to press his attack home, even though his transit fighters now only had lasers to fight with, and two were already damaged. He led his fighters into a close attack against the rear of the Davian force, which noticed the attack only as laser hits impacted on their rear armour. Once they were obliged to take cover and engage the fighters, Captain Anson continued the attacks, disabling two mechs with concentrated laser fire. Just as he received word that all the dropships had finally lifted, his transit was hit by missile fire from a Davian archer. The fighter disintegrated mid-air. In January 3018, the 15th Defence Squadron stationed on the planet Carva 5 were ordered to scramble and engage a four-dropship Davian strike force set upon ransacking the planet's mech storehouse. The 15th, composed mostly of transit medium fighters, headed out past Carva's three moons toward the Davians. Unfortunately, one of the enemy dropships was a fighter carrier, with six of Davian's heaviest fighters. Combined with the other fighters of the Air Lancers, this was more than a match for the 15th Defence Squadron. Instead of falling back toward his own ground defences, however, the commander of the 15th decided to engage the attack force anyway. In less than 30 minutes of concentrated combat, all 10 fighters of the 15th were either destroyed or cut off from base. These survivors finally ran out of fuel and life support before they could attempt a landing on Carver 5. Losing only one medium fighter, the Davian forces successfully raided the Lao storehouse for supplies. Variants because of the tight design specifications of most aerospace fighters, few variants are possible without altering the craft's capabilities and thus requiring an entire rebuild. The Transit, however, has a factory designed variant that is used in photo reconnaissance. The TR-11 Transit Recon Craft has had its four medium lasers removed and its cockpit enlarged for an observer. It also contains a wide variety of sensing and scanning equipment, including a computer-enhanced imaging system. Notable Fighters and Pilots Lieutenant Seiji Smith. One of House Lao's most experienced aerospace fighter pilots, Seiji Smith is the rare pilot who can get away with using the transit against heavier fighters. Using tactics and maneuvers many call crazy, Smith has totaled up an impressive 14 kills in his transit fighter, the Usually Wong. 
Currently part of the headquarters defence squadron based at Cathal, he's soon to be promoted and given his own air lance. Giles Ashtibula One of the steadiest transit pilots around, Giles Ashtibula has been the sole survivor of two fighter squadrons that were wiped out in enemy action. This has increased rather than decreased his reputation and status. As his gun cameras always show him in the thicker things until ordered to withdraw, Giles has refused promotion three times, and with his score of nine kills, is regarded as an asset in his newest unit, Reed's Air Lance of the 4th Tau Ceti Rangers. Usually Wong. Wouldn't that be counted as some kind of... That'd be a racist joke now, wouldn't it? That would be a racist joke. They... They got away with that. I, I can't believe it. I'm, I'm, you can check this up, right? Page 148 of TRO 3025. Usually Wong. You usually Wong. This is, this is, this is, this is up there with something Wong, banging ow. You know. Way too low. It, that's that's what that was. Whoever wrote that, whoever wrote that, they wouldn't get away with that today. They just wouldn't. 